we have studied indefinite integration let's study definite integration which is the other type of integration now as the name suggests definite so that means there will be something certain here earlier there was a constant of integration which was an arbitrary constant that is why we name that type of integration as indefinite integration but here there is no need of the constant of integration that you will see in the questions why i am saying so the other thing the integration is defined over certain limits certain things that is why it is called as the definite integration let's study the fundamental theorem of integral calculus in this topic of definite integration so let's study let's start reading it says we have here the fundamental theorem of integral calculus let phi x be primitive let phi x be primitive of a continuous function fx that means phi x is the anti derivative primitive means anti derivative of a function fx which is continuous on ab this is the region over which we are talking about d by dx of phi x is equal to fx that means differentiation of phi x will give me the function of uh, which is known as fx so differentiation of phi x will give me fx because phi x is the anti derivative and now then the definite integral of fx over ab mind the words definite integral we are not talking about indifferent but definite integral over this region ab would be given by what here it is fx dx which is the limits from a to b that is lower is a upper limit is b and what you will do is fx integration is what fx integration should be phi x now phi x is there but you have to put the limits here upper limit lower limit so whatever should happen should be in the case of upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit minus lower limit is what we do in case of definite integration so what you will be doing is phi x wherein you put upper limit as well lower limit also the other thing the other thing is what do you call a and b as a and b individually are definitely called as lower limit and upper limit respectively but together they are called as the limits of integration so i say that if i have something over here as suppose this expression is written in front of you what to read it as integration of or integral of fx over this limits so integration of fx from a to b but how to evaluate it upper limit minus lower limit the other important thing which i would be reminding you is there is no need of the constant of integration that is why it is called as a definite integral